hello guys today i'm going to show you how to replace the motherboard which is known as the mlb or the logic board of the macbook pro 2011 or 12 model start off by flipping your macbook make sure it is powered off you will require different kind of tools so you can buy this kit from amazon or flipkart wherever you find it in just two or three hundred rupees so unscrew all of these screws these three are the long ones and rest of the seven are the shorter ones After removing the back panel, you will see something like this. Before starting, make sure to unplug the battery and make sure you don't have any electric, uh, static electricity in your body. Uh, if you want, just in case if you want, you can remove the battery by unscrewing these two 2.0 screws and take the battery out like this and then remove three torx screws from the fan leave it in place so you don't misplace them and uh, unplug the cable for the fan which is this one and remove the fan next you need to unplug all of these cables this is for the subwoofers and this is for the camera pull it out gently and all of these the, uh, pull uh, for this one pull the bridge first and then the uh, cable this is for the keyboard so be gentle with it or you'll damage the cable uh, same for the backlit backlit for the keyboard which is right next to it it also has a similar kind of a bridge so this is for the antennas this is for the optical drive this is for the hard drive and this is for the trackpad, keyboard, backlit, indicator for the battery which we have on the side and this is for the LCD display. The display also has the same metallic kind of a bridge which you have to pull out before the cable itself. Then plug it out gently. Don't hesitate to put a bit of pressure. Then unscrew all of these torx screws. You'll have eight of them and one which you have already removed because of the fan. Then gently lift the motherboard uh, or the logic board don't pull it because it is not free yet because you have to uh, the, some of the parts are still remaining which you have to unscrew and first of all unscrew these two phillips head screws which are these as marked or will be marked soon yeah this one these two unscrew them and it is a bracket and just keep the screws in place and remove the bracket leave the screws in place so you don't misplace them keep the bracket safely and you have to tear this mic which is glued there and unplug the power source too which is beneath the motherboard or the logic board pull it towards your left and the cable will come out now your motherboard is or the logic board is free from the macbook this is what your motherboard looks like rather your macbook's motherboard looks like after that take the new logic board and this is the power units cable you need to put that back 
uh, for my convenience I took the unit out it is just two screws uh, that you need to take out before it is free from the body of the Mac so I'll show you the two screws they are torx screws and these are the screws these two screws uh, for the max safe power adapter or the power connector and put the logic board back in place make sure there is there are no cables in the way between and put the mic back you don't need to glue it back as the rubber will do the work and make sure the connection is good and put back the bracket with the two Phillips head screws which you left in place so that you don't lose them and screw them back sorry for my hand uh, that is getting in between and after you have screwed them I mean uh, after you have put the screws back uh, put back the eight screws rather seven as one was left in the fan which helps the system keep its cool now put back all the cables uh, for the subwoofer camera antennas for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, hard disk optical drive indicator for battery and trackpad Make sure all the connections are good. Be extra careful with the keyboard one and also the backlit for the keyboard one. This is the keyboard one and put it back all the way through and then lock the, the bridge on top. I personally felt that was the most difficult connections among all the connections in this replacement. And the same procedure goes for the backlit also, which is on the right side of the keyboard cable. And then put back the LCD display cable. Make sure it goes all the way through in and then lock it. Lock the bridge metallic bridge in place after that put back the fan in place and tighten the three torx head screws after putting that plug the cable back and make sure all the connections are good after that put back the battery these are the two 2.0 screws. The long one goes on the right side and the shorter one on the left side. Tighten these. After that, make sure all connections are good and then finally put back plug back the battery and put back the back lid or the back panel and then tighten all the screws back in place the three longer one goes first and then the rest seven shorter ones After that, flip back your MacBook and open it. Cross your fingers and press the power button. Jai Mata Di. And yes, it is working. So mine is working. Yours too must work if you follow the instructions correctly. Ah, so dosto, mere MacBook ka logic board kharab ho gaya tha kuch time pehle. To main lege gaya service center. उन्होंने ढाई हज़ार रुपये लिए चेक करने के लिए चेक करने के बाद बताया ठीक कराने के लिए अगर ठीक कराना चाहते हो तो चालीस हज़ार रुपये लगेंगे हमने कहा ठीक है करा दो रिटर्न नहीं चाहिए और ख़ुद से मैंने ये ठीक किया है मतलब शो ऑफ नहीं आया पर कह सकते हैं 
तो ठीक क्या मैंने अली बाबा साहब सस्ते में मंगवा सकते हैं अराउंड जो चालीस हज़ार का था उसको आप सीधा तेरह हज़ार या बीस हज़ार में मंगवा सकते हैं डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट यू चूज़ तो ऐसे करके आप पैसे बचाएँ माँ बाप का नाम रोशन करें जय हिंद जय भारत डू हिट लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब और जो मैं रट के आता सारा बोल दिया है थैंक यू